So hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC live stream. We like doing this, we like doing this a lot. Uh, do upload still a lot of uh, video, 4K video of RC action that we've caught live at shows and events around the UK and in Germany, doing that almost daily, but we're having a fun doing live streaming and talking to a lot of people who are subscribed to the channel like Axe, Lotel, Costas, Colby, Sapper, Finn, Scatcat and others. Thanks for uh, tuning in and it's good to, good to be good to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> sorry Axe, again. Uh, we only do sometimes only do these things at short notice. I've had a really busy day today, and uh, but we uh, decided last moment to do a live stream. We'll we'll do it together soon, Axe. Don't worry about that. So in the cockpit of the A10C, uh, Jason is going to be joining us really soon. So I'm not going to be flying by myself. So let's. Um, let's get set up so my, I'm already running engines already started up left engine right engine both running already fueled up but I need to select some ordnance so Hello. ah would that be Jason that is indeed yes hello okay how you doing <laughs> yeah not too bad I saw you I saw a stream pop up on YouTube, so I thought I'd come and invade you. You got the notification. Excellent. I that got just, the notification. Yeah. Just proves that it is actually working. <laughs> and I thought, right, I know where I should go. Right. So let's uh, just, as I was saying, I'm just going to select my ordnance. We've got an A10 in front of me, actually. Maybe that is so. I'm going to choose a Mark 84. 500 pound bomb in the middle. I'm going to go with three Mark 82 airs either side. So I'm going to do also to make things interesting. I'm going to go with some AGM 65 Mavericks. Oh, going technical. I am. So I've not I've not uh, done these on a live stream for. No, I still do have your Discord axe. Uh, we, I will let you know next time when we have uh, when I can give you a bit of notice, honestly. So um, yes, AGM 65s there. So these are air to ground. With the, nobody will have seen this feature before. How you aim these, but they have their own independent sensor for targeting, which is quite fun. Um, and then we're going to go with rockets. So let's go with rockets there and rockets there. We're going to go for a jammer pod there, should we be targeted. And we'll go for air-to-air -air missiles. Jason, the one thing I don't know how to do is to switch to air-to-air -air mode on the A10C. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it once before following a tutorial, but I don't... I've never got into a situation where I've needed to use it. That's the thing. So it's kind of one of those things that's easy to forget. Yeah. Because uh, how often are you going to get into an air-to-air -air fight with... Uh, an A-10? With A an A-10. A-10 is, not... A is in deep, deep trouble. It is, yeah. If it does yeah, get into an air to a, a combat situation like that. All right. Um... So any, any time I've sort of got into any air-to-air -air on like a, another server, you just get shut down. Uh, James Bennett says on the chat, I'll pay $5 to anyone that shoots down Dom. That, I mean, that's cheap price. I'm happy <laughs> to take James's money, to be honest. <laughs> James, James, one of the uh, the crew, you know, he's, it is disappointing that he's not joining in today, but he's, he's doing his day, day job. He's a very hard-working chap, is James. Oops. I just pressed something that I shouldn't have pressed. I, I pulled the uh, the fire handle on the right engine <laughs> by accident. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Oh dear. This could all go horribly today, wrong. Isn't it? It's what? Sorry. Pretty warm today. It is in my office where I'm sitting now. Yeah, I'm sat in my office. Apologies if you can hear my printer going. Yeah. So you got a 3D printer. 
I have, you. yes, a new new toy, and uh, for the for the viewers of Essential RC, they'll see something quite exciting coming up it soon. Well, give them the brief. So you are actually printing out a a um, a fixed wing, a radio controlled aircraft, fuselage and wings, but using a three D printer, right? That's right. Yeah. So it's it's a uh, it's a print that you can purchase online. Uh, so I found it. Uh, details to follow on that. Um, and uh, yeah, you can uh, you can print off an entire RC plane, including everything, even the wheels. So you use a, <laughs> like a, a rubberized uh, flexible filament that you then print the tires out of a flexible material. Um, so yeah, quite exciting time. So I've spent the last few days tweaking the printer because they they kind of need a little bit of tweaking to get them perfect. <clears> and uh, so far, so good. So we're we're looking pretty we're looking pretty good. I look forward to that. So we're going to do you talking about doing a sequence of three videos, aren't you, on that printing out yes. the various oh. components, assemb assembly and installing the RC stuff and power system, and then flying it. So, correct. Yeah. Yeah. That would so be fun. Uh, yeah, we should get three three or four videos out of it. So yeah, nice little tutorial you know it's my first time at having a go at this as well so uh, I'm sure I will make the same mistakes that everybody else doing it for the first time does but it looks quite self-explanatory so yeah could be, could be a good bit of fun right um, my A10 moving out Custard the pipe cat is in the house ah oh, good old Custard <laughs> I saw, saw Custard commenting on some uh, some of the videos oh there. he's done it again <laughs> He's dropped five large. And ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> he can always rely. <laughs> He's done that before we've even done anything. It could go all horribly wrong. But um, thanks, Custard. So where, uh, Jason, where are you? Uh, I am. Uh, oh, do you know what? I think I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that A10 is not available on Steam free anymore. Which means I'm might need to buy it <laughs> right yeah. now if you're not even in and starting up I'm gonna go yeah you go I'm gonna go and uh, yeah on Steam it flips so now I can do the F-16 which I've never done before let me see if it'll it, Jace, buy, I, I very much doubt the I think it's another one or two weeks on the A-10 bit Honestly, buy it, man. I'll I'll buy it for you. Oh, I'm just waiting for the Steam sale because it's going to be half price at the end of the free trial. Nothing coming. I should check that before I go out onto a live runway. <laughs> you would not believe what a close call I had uh, the other day. <laughs> the runway. I pulled out and there was a there was a Mig charging down the runway towards me it's like oh my god okay yeah the a10c is 50 quid at the moment but it's going to be half price in a couple of weeks so i will fly the f18 because i know that one fair enough that'll make it interesting we'll mix it up with a bit of f18 all right people uh i am ready to go i've got flaps i am powering up and release I know how to air to air as well with the uh, with the F18 so I can I can earn my five dollars from James <laughs> <laughs> you will only get kicked out of multiplayer if you do that oh, you do know that. yeah and I'm already on a, I'm already on my my first strike aren't I so you've got a few points yeah after what happened last time rotate oh I see you taking off You're right in front of me gear up you looked very heavy geez I am fully loaded yeah. <laughs> I think the Mavericks are quite heavy I've got an, uh, a Mark 84 in the middle so yeah I've got a lot going on Oh, Axe says he he'd take James's challenge. I wouldn't last. I wouldn't. I'd have to get in my F-16. At least I'd have a fighting chance <laughs> in an F-16. You can actually put a surprising amount on this F-18. Yeah. 
I think it's the 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 main aircraft I found that has limitations is the AV8B. If you want to take off vertically, that is. <clears throat> right, let's get serious. So I'm going to go with CCIP mode and rockets to start off with. Actually, no, I'm going to go with guns to start off with. You find with guns, if I if you shoot up the runway, you get lots of beautiful secondary explosions. Mm. Ah, now I know what I'm going to need to do after. So coming in on the first pass down the runway Gow 8, beautiful sound from this thing. And firing. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Yep. As predicted, secondary explosion from a target on the runway there just behind me, nice. I bet you it can, I bet the F-16 can turn tighter than the F-18. I'm sure I've seen a nice diagram that shows that. But it has to, doesn't it? The F-16 is pretty small compared to the F-18. Someone else going down the runway. Let's turn in. <laughs> we'll uh, test out that theory soon, Ax. Annoyingly, I forgot to put my track IR on, <laughs> so I'm flying with, oh. a, with a hat. Now, I'm, I did put in an order for track IR. I'm getting a bit tired of using the mouse. It's not arriving until probably the 13th or 14th. Oh. Right, uh, let's switch to CCIP and rockets this time. Nope, I changed my plan. I'm going to go with a Mark 82 because the tank... No, nope, I'm going to change again. I'm going to go with a Mark 84 because the tower, <laughs> the tower is not being taken out. Release. Peeling away. Yes. So I dropped the uh, the biggest bomb that I was carrying, the Mark 84 500 pounder, right in onto the tower, and it burst into flames. Guaranteed. Anything. If you drop that Mark 84 into anything, it was guaranteed to burst into flames. I think. Woo. moving my head looking for you and uh, yeah it doesn't work <laughs> oh dear that feels quite unnatural to use the little joystick thing just while I'm doing this so whereabouts are you give me just a mo you overland or sea one moment I'm overland I'm at the far end of the runway your altitude? Uh, 3,000 feet. Tell me when you're going to do an attack run and I'll come find you. I'm on my turn in now. I'm going to go with CCIP 
mark 82s on this run. <clears throat> Is that you no, now? No, that wasn't me. That was that looked like an F eighteen passing through and miss and dropping loads of ordnance but missing everything. So I'm just gonna take out these fuel containers. Oh, the small one. Don't know if you saw that on the live stream, but they're the Mark 82 airs, and they they have a, a lot of drag behind them. They have kind of a shoot system behind them to slow them down. Great for dropping at low altitude because they get re, re, slowed down. They don't. Uh, they won't explode underneath you. So we've got to go for the large fuel tank next. And going with Mark 82s again. Learning how oh, is, that, is that you running towards the runway now? Yes. Actually, it has been taken out. So I'm going to go over here. that was something with a red smoke just passing me by at speed that that, is that you yeah, that was me. <laughs> holy smoke <laughs> where are you uh, climbed above you hold on I'll catch up with you obviously have a fair bit more power than you now a bit yeah Two massive uh, engines with reheat. I'm just making a turn into the runway again. Oh, I see you. <clears throat> I took the red smoke so you'd know who is who. That is a good plan. Oh, nice flares. Thanks, mate. Just for everybody else's benefit. Whoa! Whoa! F-18. <laughs> like that. Nice, mate. It's a bit more manu a bit more manoeuvrable than the uh, than the A10. That's for sure. It is. Using a Logitech setup? I am, yes. I'm using the Logitech X56, same as James. I'm too close for missiles, I'm switching to guns. <laughs> Such a kid. I'm 
also going to do a gun run. <laughs> On the airfield. Altitude, out, pull up, pull up. Is that you coming through now? Yeah. Whoa, that is a bit close to the ground. Are you still trailing red smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't switch warm up my Mavericks. I forgot to do that. So with the Mavericks um, that I've got on board, you need to turn on the gimbal based sensor. So I've done that. It takes three minutes to warm up. Something you should remember to do at the beginning of the flight. Uh, so I can't use them until they come up online. And when the sensor comes online, then we should see a picture there and we should can use the targeting that it has on board don't have to use the onboard sensor with the Mavericks you can also add a sensor pod onto the wing which actually has much better resolution and several different types of sensor on board and you can slave from the Maverick to that sensor but uh, we'll do that on another live stream I need to practice that a bit more it does take quite a while to set up each target. Turning in. Also doing a quick gun run. Just to let you know, Axe, your message got blocked. He said you definitely got ripped off. Um, the chat is set up to block messages that contain any vague type of profanity. And you would not believe that I've already had a couple of people who are just, they just join to throw in uh, abuse. Really? It, yeah, it, but it picks that up and they just, their messages don't get through. But the, the odd genuine message does get um, oh. blocked. Right, I'm going to go with CCIP and. Oh, why is. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Target there. Pull up, pull up. Missed it. <laughs> Some Yorkshire slang doesn't get blocked. <laughs> no. Google probably aren't aware of it. Suits me. I probably wouldn't understand it either. <laughs> Switching to guns. Eighteen. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> as right. fun as, uh, as as great as the A10 is, there's something about going around on reheat, isn't there? Run out of fuel pretty quickly if you do that. You do, yeah. That is fair. I'm sorry. Right. So let's have a look. See if my Mavericks are warmed up. They are. So, uh, let's trim out a little bit better. The interesting thing is, is you release weapons, you less weight, you do have to trim out. So we've got a um, a site over to my right. Yeah, we're in multiplayer pipe cats, custard, and um, in Hoggett training server. 
Yeah, so you see over there little bits of smoke. That's where we've got SAM sites and AAA guns. Andre, this is a digital combat simulator, DCS. So you'll see I've got um, at the top of the HUD there, SN and then below that, Uh, that hamburger type, or wedding cake, I think they call it, style targeting, Pippa, that is what I can use to target the Mavericks. And I have to change my, my sensor of interest, as they call it, denoted by the asterisk above the where it says Maverick on the HUD. I have to change the sensor of interest to the Mavericks, because they have their own sensor, and I've just done that. Then I have to slew, using the right terminology. Look at your right window. Hold on, hold on. I'm just picking a target. Oh, okay. Uh, so I've done that, and you can see I can move the sensor around here. So I've targeted something, and then I can fire, missile away. Look to my right, there's my buddy in his F-18, and I can track or watch making sure I don't crash well because I'm still flying let's see I'll let you know if you're gonna crash APC kill that worked really well So you do F6 on the keyboard, then you can track in the... Um... Ooh. Oh. You see that... Uh, so with the, we've been detected. Now the other thing I didn't do was turn on my... Well, maybe I did. If I have you did, a, if, you fled. Yeah, you did. No, I, I did that manually. But, oh, okay. Um, you'll see my jammer where it says JMR there. My jammer is active. And if I change my countermeasures to auto or semi, then it would, it would execute the countermeasures program by itself. I like to do it myself. It can run out of countermeasures quite quickly if you have it on auto. Now, where are you going? Are you doing a, a carrier landing? Well, I'm just sat behind you, escorting you as your air defence. You, <laughs> you've got your gear down. Have I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that came down. I must have accidentally knocked the button. What a pro. <laughs> yeah. However, I am getting a fuel low warning where I've been <laughs> going round on... I told you! Right. right. <laughs> Why don't you, I follow you in for a carrier landing. Alright. Where are you? Just in front of you. So he's... Jason's... Right, so the carrier's out far right. Jason's burning away for a carrier landing. We'll cut in. And follow him in. He's going to have to slow down. I'm full power. If I'm lucky, I might catch him up. I'll slow right down. I'm doing 350 at the moment. Which is idle for this. Roger that. So talk us through what you're going to do, Jason. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to work out which one is the carrier. It's the middle one. <laughs> uh, and then we will put down the tail hook, which grabs the uh, arrestor lines on the runway on the uh, ship. Um, we'll have full flap, ear down, obviously, uh, and uh, try and come in at about 160 knots. Uh, and then put the power on just before you touch down in case you miss a rope and need to go around. Right, I'm cruising at 200, so you should be able to catch me up quite easily, I thought. I've just flown over the top of you, I think. Oh, I see you heading down to the carrier down there. Accelerate a little bit. There we go. 
You look like uh, you're in a stall for a moment there. I'm doing 185, I can't, still can't see you. Uh, I'm literally right in front of you. I'll put my smoke on so you can see it. <clears throat> you see my smoke? Oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You're not going in this time then? Uh, no, I wasn't sure of its orientation. Oh yeah, so it's, I... that, that is from the back. Okay, I'm going to do a quick circle and then go straight in. All right, I'll do the same thing. I'll try and keep it achievable for you. Tail hook down. Oh, I'm just behind you. Doing 180, just below you. The I'll cat? leave the smoke on. You behind me? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm on finals, probably pretty oh, close no, to the ship. Oh, no, no, there you are! <laughs> I'm pretty close. With luck, he sh should come in. I think there's someone on the runway. No, there. he's clearing, he's clearing. Is he? Yes, yes, yes. Go, well man. done, I caught that. I was directly over your head. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Uh, that's good because my, my aircraft is uh, screaming at me that I'm out of fuel. I'm going to have to head back then. You'll probably be you'll be refueled in the air and back on the attack before I've even got back. I suspect. I expect so. Yeah. Turning back for the coast. Yeah, I was down to 4% fuel. Woo. So there's me on the map. Thanks, Custard. I'm going to be going here. So a couple of minutes and I'll be into Cobuletti. come and watch you take off to be honest <sighs> autopilot on so that's uh, I haven't used that enough autopilot to uh, maintain my altitude and my heading which is what I'm doing now um, so you lining up for a takeoff uh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 I'm still refueling. I see that. And your wings are folded to take up less space on the deck. Nice. Uh, no, the folded one is someone else. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm the greedy one taking up the ramp, really. I was going to say. <laughs> that's a bit rude. Well, no one else is on here. I can 
Uh, Darren's asking, am I still working on the SR71? There is always somebody who pops up on the live stream asking if I'm working on the SR71. The answer is no, I put it to one side. I did a lot of work on it and I need to park it for a while, but I'll get back to it in the distant future. <laughs> But we are we we are doing a a three D printed plane in the coming probably in the next week or two the video will be up uh, the first video so there's a project there to look at yeah there's lots more interesting stuff going on yeah in fact I might even send you a picture later on so you can put it on the oh do Facebook that because it's ease that yeah. would be good thanks Caroline mm -mm. Right, so I'm just breaking for the coast and figure out where the airport is. It's off to the right. Warning, autopilot. Yeah, I know. I should have disengaged it. I'm sorry about that. Gives me a warning. Yes, yeah, so as we were saying earlier on the stream, Jason has started a 3D printed fixed wing RC model. Uh, it's not something we've done before, and it's actually not something we've seen anyone uh, do before. So uh, it's great that he's doing that. He's just got a, uh, a 3D printer, spent quite a bit of money on it, and that's his first project. Other than the uh, the cat that you, Chinese cat that you printed out. Oh, yeah, yeah that's the standard. I, I've done a few practical bits, some prints. Um, Prior, so uh, but yeah, this is the first kind of because it, it's going to be Ooh. printed in a, it's about 20 to 30 bits that I need to print, um, that then kind of all glue together and, uh, and form the aircraft. So it's it's quite a big it's quite a big project, really. Gear down and air brakes. <clears throat> takes long, long, quite a long time to refuel the F-18. I think it takes a long time yeah. to refuel from almost, from almost empty. Not the best approach, but it'll do. Arlington is asking how does he get started with this sim <clears throat> what equipment and software well software wise you just need a PC uh, to download digital combat simulator which is free uh, there's no charge for the sim there is however charge for aircraft so I think you get one or two aircraft free uh, which is enough to kind of get a taste for the sim see if you like yes. it and then you can buy whatever aircraft you like um, after that uh, in terms of hardware I would strongly suggest a joystick um, with a, a decent throttle quadrant and that is all you need to get going really um, I mean I use track IR which is uh, if you google what track IR is that's really awesome and Dom's just ordered some track IR as well now the, uh, the to be the you can use VR goggles but VR goggles unless you spend spend a lot of money are quite low resolution in comparison to a good screen so my, our advice is to go with a good screen and track IR yeah we both use uh, 34 inch 2k ultra wide screen so they're really crystal clear you can see every little detail yeah. whereas all of the VR I've used to date has been as Dom said quite low resolution um, and for me, eye candy is everything in planning. I want it to look as real as possible. Can you remember the control to make the uh, 
U to hook up. Is it U or Control U or something? U, I think. <laughs> U, yes, you are correct. And don't uh, don't launch yet. I'll switch to your view so I can show. I'm just parking up. Okay, sure. You tell me when to uh, take off. Thirty seconds. Give me thirty seconds. Caroline, no, uh, I don't think you'd be able to play with an RC transmitter on a buddy lead to USB converter. No, not on this. Um, I mean, you could perhaps map the controls to work, but it would not be a very nice experience. I'm just going to do that and that. Uh, so there we go, we've got Jason, he's, you see on the front wheel there, the, he has connected up to the catapult, it's steam powered, so that's why you're seeing steam coming off the, me the uh, machinery below, looks like you've got rockets and the Mark 84, I don't know what the, uh, what the other bombs are, but a big bomb in the middle, and a, and a uh, Mark 82s and Mark 84s. sidewinders as well. <clears throat> so as soon as you hook up on the front, the uh, the blast deflector at the back comes away, up to deflect the blast. You got your flaps down. You're all set. Are you ready for takeoff? Go afterburners, yep. Okay. All throttle. Nice launch. Can't do that in the A10. No. No, the A10's not particularly uh, agile for that sort of thing, is it? Right, let's see if I can get over to you before you take off. <laughs> right. <laughs> what track IR did I get? What, who's the company makes the proper track IR? I can't remember. Uh, motion point or something? Yeah. There are there are something point. Yeah, there are clones out there, but I went for the pucker version. Yeah, I think it's one of those things. If you're gonna do it, do it properly. Um, I'm sure it's something like motion point or something like that. It's, a, it's around two hundred pounds, I think, is it? Mm, just under that. I think I paid about one fifty to one eighty. I can't remember exactly pounds sterling. <clears throat> so let's um I mean I've seen people making um webcams work. You know, with a with a, a little bit of messing around you can actually get a webcam to track your head, but it's it's nowhere near as accurate as track IR. But if you happen to have a webcam it's free, so you know, you kinda have it have it ready to go. I'm finding, you see, I'm when I'm, uh, I can use a button to go between the clickable cockpit. See me sweet. That's the master arm. Um, and click a button, and then my mouse will move around like that. Uh, it's a bit of a painful thing to do. And I'm trying to go to external views and sh and make it interesting for the people watching on the live stream, but. If I've got track IR, I'll just be able to move my head from left to right and up and down to do this. I won't have to. I'll just use the mouse for doing the clickable cockpit. So we're all. I'm all set. I think. I've got 180 flares. That's good enough. Should be all good to go. So let's go. Are you still on the ground? I am. I'm just taxiing out. Let's just check nothing coming. Flaps still down. And 
Uh oh, I suspect this might be Jason. It is me, yeah. There's always one. <laughs> Yee haw! 120, rotate at 145. 130. 140. 145. <laughs> Custer just put wah! <laughs> rotate. Gear up. <clears throat> Arlington's asking, do you guys fly RC jets? So, uh, answer the question, we have flown lots and lots and lots of electric ducted fan jets, EDF jets. Uh, and yes, I have also flown and do own uh, our, uh, turbine jets. <clears throat> I've got a composite ARF Ultra Flash with a, a, P1, a JetCat P160, which is extremely, extremely fast. And I've got a couple of other engines as well, but not airframes to put them in. So yes, and I have to say that I, I love flying them but it's difficult to find somewhere to fly them there are less and less places to fly them in the uk because they are noisy they are fast you need a lot of space i mean my ultra flash will do 250 miles an hour at top speed it's not something you can operate or fly in a you know even at a normal flying field you you have to go to somewhere that really does have the a lot of space for it and unfortunately with noise sensitivity in the in the UK and more and more building it, there are less and less places to that would be Jason again then <laughs> less and less places to fly these things but um so where are we going uh you've got all of the uh hmm. surface to air missile I'm gonna fly over them really fast and hopefully they won't be able to hit me I've just realised... You might get some nice uh, missiles coming up out the air. You can see the bullets flying through the air. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where that is. Oh, there, yeah, got it. Is that what you're doing now? Tell me when you're going to fly over. Okay, I've just done it, but I can do it again. You'll um. see them attack me. Um. What am I climbing okay, up? Okay, I'm going over them now. I'm not going to drop anything, I'm just going to stir them up a little bit. Usually they'll shoot at me. I think they've gone to sleep. I think they have, yeah. Oh no, there's one. Oh no, there we go. That woke them up. Oh yeah, it really did. Oh my word. <laughs> have they not hit you? Nah, I'm a bit too quick for them. Bang around on afterburner. Okay. Right, so I'm headed out over this way because there are some convoys. Oh, a bullet just struck me. Damn oh it. dear. <laughs> Have you gone in? Yeah, they shot me down. Look, there is his, his burning wreckage. Ah, uh, see, that's what happens. You think you're better than the guys on the ground? Yeah. So I'm, I've am i headed out of Cobuleti. I'm heading north to uh, 
Ah, thanks for the offer, Arlington. I was in Florida oh, three years ago. Um, and that was great, but uh, perhaps a good excuse to go back. Certainly have better weather than we do. Oh, it wouldn't be hard to have worse, would it? it wouldn't be hard to have better. But Sorry. We, we've we've been pretty lucky spring. recently, I'd say. Though. Spring. While we've been in lockdown, <laughs> as soon as yeah. we went into lockdown, the weather improved. Ridiculous. Osprey RC Club, South Florida. Oh, cool. Jeez, I bet they get good weather all year round, those guys. I tell you... Uh, I'm sensing an essential RC date, well, week trip, Dom. Well, it's not out of the question. It's not out of the question. It would be nice right. to come out trip for a Florida. show next year, maybe, when we're through all of this crap, having to stay in under COVID-19 lockdown and uh, come out to the States and... Uh, and visit the uh, the Sunshine State. That'd be nice. Thanks for the invite. When I was in Vegas, there was a a really nice club there, proper tarmac runway and yeah, go on. Nice when was the last time you saw a tarmac runway at a club in the uh, UK? Like well, never. Well, only if it's happened to be tarmac there. It was never laid specially. They fly all year. Take your fishing rod too. <laughs> it just sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Business trip, tax deductible. Right, I'm headed for these armoured personnel carriers uh, and I'm going to try out my Mavericks that's if any of the airlines survive to get us there oh yeah they're laying off pilots aren't they at the moment it's not good hmm. well, I see uh, Virgin and BA are both pulling out of Gatwick Not good times. There's, I wonder if it means prices will go up or down. Initially down, I suspect, to get us back using them. Yeah. Okay, so A10's coming up. Oh, how did the mid-air refuelling go, by the way? <sighs> it's very difficult. What did I do? I did it in the F-16. Mm -hmm. The receptacle is just behind the top of the canopy on the F-16. And okay. as soon as you open that receptacle, it changes the rates on your stick for more for less sensitivity, right? So you can... Right, okay. Okay, which makes sense. You have to be quite careful around the turbulence generated by the... Uh, by the other the air aircraft you're going to refuel from but it's the because it's behind you it's the guy controlling there's a guy on board that refueler controlling trying to dock with the receptacle behind your head okay to refuel it's not uh, like on the f-16 the f-18 you've got a basket that you can deploy in front of you and it's your job to hook up it's his okay. job to hook up but even so you have to be vaguely there and there are lights on the bottom of the refueler to guide you in in terms of your height. And okay, so it's not it's not uh, an easy task. No, it? God, no, it's not. It's not. I I managed to hook up for a few seconds, and that was it. Right. So I'm just trying to find these APCs while I've been talking. They will be on a road somewhere. I can't. See see them. Let's go back to my map. They're off to my right. Uh, and there's...
Jeez, it shouldn't be this difficult. Oh, there they are. There they are. Right, so they are down there. APCs, armored personnel carriers. So let's um, let's turn in. And I'm just cycling through the ground targets, trying to find them. Here they are. That's that convoy. Um, so I need to change to Mavericks and change my sensor of interest to be down here and I need to find them now so the whole point with the A10 really is not to get low and strafe and take out the targets it's to <coughs> do things from height we've lost them now they are pretty much off to my right I don't know why I'm having so much. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. So turning in. Okay. Here we go. So we've got a lock. You see it tracking that target, firing. Ooh! Hell yeah! <laughs> what a great weapon that is! Wow! Love that. That's how you can pick out targets with surgical precision. So we'll try that again. I need to retrim a little bit so they're behind us. You can see them just crossing over a bridge. Oh, was that you, Jason? It might well have been. Sonic boom. <laughs> like that. So we're Welcome coming around. In style. That's nice. Coming around on these again. Again, slew down the sensor on one of my Mavericks to pick one out. Let's. Oh, somebody else is already attacking. I guess that would be Jason. No, that's not me. That's somebody else. Weapon away. That looks really cool from back here. Oh, don't know what happened there. It didn't, it didn't track. You have to do it from a way off with these Mavericks. That's a shame. Because the, the great thing is if you take out the lead guy, it blocks everybody else. And then you can just go in low and take them all out. So I, get, I think we'll do that next time. So uh, switching to... They are at the moment custard. Um, usually you have to pay for aircraft, but DCS at the moment are offering them free of charge, I think for, the, for about another two weeks, is it? Yeah, I think it's about that. Yeah. Going with rockets this time. Although if you have the Steam version like myself, you get two weeks free of a few and then two weeks free of the rest.
There you go. Oh. Nice, and you saw us both there departing the scene. So where's Jason? It should be you behind me? Right behind you. Oh, there he is. I'm looking backwards. Do you want to go over the top of us? All right. I've got afterburners. Nice. Right, let's try and find some more targets. F10. Oh, we're heading back. That wasn't a very good move. So I'll tell you what I could do. Let's turn back this way. See if we can find some more targets. So we're heading back up to the river. Uh, let me go to my F1 view. Trim out. I put my autopilot on. Jason, mm -hmm. look on your map. You got you got five aircraft drones over the river to the north that you could go and take out if you got. Guns and uh, it currently don't have anything. <laughs> oh, you're not. Everything's depleted. <laughs> you're all out. Yeah. That's a shame. I could quickly go and rearm though, if you want. Well, you might as well do that. I'm right, right beside you. Nice external view there, if you've got one. I, I'm trying to look at. I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Again, track IR would have been a lot more useful. Looking good? All right. Do you want to peel away and go home and uh, rearm, refuel? Yeah, I'm going to go up, refuel. Go up and... I went that way. <laughs> nice. Like that. All right. Done in style. All right, I'm going to go up the river. I'm going to go after some soft targets up the, the river. <laughs> Good way to keep the action going. So I think I just need to fly up the river to these transports. Now these guys are, it's uh, their trucks. I wouldn't go as far as saying that that was a professional gamer move, but I look good to me. Look good to me. <laughs> So I'm going after these guys, and there they are. The red dots do really help with the acquisition of the these guys. So I'm going to drop the. Uh, well, I'm going to go with guns this time. You can pretty much rip them to shreds with the guns. So full power. <coughs> And drops them out to 6,000 feet. It's amazing how much quicker you get around on with reheat. <laughs> Cruising at 715 knots. Yeah, well, I'm uh, pointed in a dive doing 315. <laughs> <laughs> Full power. All right, coming in on target. Decreasing power, they're coming down the road towards me. Poor guys. Low there, yeah. Warning. 
Warning, autopilot. So pilot should engage. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and they're all dead. That was on one pass. One pass. Got on one I pass. got the whole lot on one pass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then put it on autopilot and just hang around for the secondary ex the secondary explosions. And we got one, two, one, two, land. three. That was good. The power Just of the A10. Oh, the A10's a wicked machine for that, isn't it? I'm just watching it on the stream, actually. <laughs> oh, look, God. You know, we got out this way. We got a dam. Can you destroy it? Switching to bombs. I've got my Mark 84. <laughs> Can you destroy it? I kind of doubting it. I don't know. A lot of the buildings are destructible in this game. Well, I hit it. <laughs> no. What do you reckon with that, people? That was a nice hit of the uh, the dam. Should be a big hole in it. I'm like a I'm a professional dam buster now. <laughs> oh, I've never done that. You can fly through the valley, albeit really slowly. Someone had a hard time on the runway. There's a chewed up plane. Oh, there'll be lots of uh, silliness going on. I think people tend to behave in multi this multiplayer because it takes you four or five minutes to get going again, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. Which is kind of a good thing. So where am I on the map? I'm, oh, I'm right up there. Well, I'm going to take some air to air and go shoot down those targets that you requested. Okay, I'm just flying over the dam then. Uh, oh. A bit of fuel on. Okay. See, see where we are. We got the we got transports lower down the river, so I'm going to follow the river. What have I got left? But you see, that's where Jason does not win because I've been flying for about three quarters of an hour, and I've still got Mark. I've got six Mark 82s. I've got 28. I haven't. I've got 20. Yeah, out of God, yeah, I've got yeah. 42 rockets and six. Six Mavericks left. I mean, I haven't even started. I might be low on fuel, though. <laughs> I think the server might reboot by the, before I'm finished. <laughs> right, I was going this way, wasn't I? I think I see these targets. Yeah, definitely. So the targets do respawn, don't they? Which is nice. You take them out and then five minutes later you get a, no a new uh, bunch of targets to hit. So this time I'm going to go in with the 
Mark 84's 250 pound drag bombs mine CCIP mode yeah so if I go my rear view like that you should see them deploy going in oh empty that's not good that's better See them, they go, go, go! <laughs> Not bad. And my new manoeuvre to get back on target really quickly. I think they're all toast anyway. But I am switching to rockets to take out any stragglers. Secondary explosions. Two live targets. Whoa, just missed the tree. They're all history. Nice. Hey, custard the pipe cat again. What? What's he done? He's done his usual. He's given us the crisps. He's given us the uh, another beer. Oh, legend. Thanks, Custard. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Right. I'm refuelled, rearmed, and yeah. ready to take off. I think I'm gonna. Wish I knew where my fuel was. Fuel. Well, the A10, you'll be all right for a couple of oh, weeks. Oh, eight eight thousand. <laughs> yeah, I've got loads of fuel left. Yeah. Deny me. Good lord. Let's see where I am in the world. I'm up there. Transports. I've got a lot of rockets. <laughs> Thanks, Pipe Cat, again. Really appreciate it. Packet right, of Polo packet of Polos, crisps and a pint. You're not wrong. So these targets are to the north, aren't they? Am I reading that right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're all up to Okay. So. Bit of a long flight up there. Not for you. Imagine how long it took me. Oh, here they are. Right, I'm on rockets. I can meet you up there if you want. Yeah, yeah. Wanna watch? Sounds good. They're in amongst the trees at the moment. Whew. Oops, lost him. They're hiding. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull up. 
actually on the same road as the uh, the trucks that I took out earlier and they it's blocked uh, uh, Dave, David Harris yeah. oh, yeah. go on go on Bill. <laughs> no, 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 after you sir after you <laughs> uh, DCS World we should get a pound for each certain time we say this, shouldn't we? We, yeah, we should join be, at different points in the we street. We should be sponsored. <laughs> yeah. DCS World, which is a digital combat simulator. It's quite an old game now, actually, isn't it? But it's got a huge following. A huge following, yeah, so and they are yeah, so. constantly improving it for realism. It's a simulator. It's not... It's not an arcade game. This emulates these aircraft exactly. That's what that's what it's about. So the we're flying. I'm flying an A10C. The weapon systems and how you control them perfectly emulates the real thing. So coming into range with rockets. That is amazing. <laughs> you've done, you've reheat all the way here. No, 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 I didn't use reheat at all. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I just cruised at 580. We're going to go shoot down some of the planes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll do one run and then I will go to um, cruise go so to we planes. can watch you do that. So don't start your action until. Uh, Switching to guns. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Oh, absolutely sprayed them. <laughs> I've killed more, done more kills in this than any other session, I think. So there I am. So let's head for home and let's put it on autopilot and uh, watch what Jason's up to. Autopilot engaged. You in an F-18? Yes, with uh, quite a lot of rockets on the bottom. Gotcha. I'll do a, I'll do a roll when you think you've got. I uh, gotcha. I think. Okay, hold on. I'll just do a quick roll. Maybe date breathy. Gotcha. We're on, Jason. Okay, we're watching. be able to. I'm going to do F6 when you launch. Okay, I'm going to fire now then. Got it. 
Oh, that's kill. He vaporized him. Perfect. Okay, so we're trying to find another one now. He's just missed him. Pull a hard left, hard left, hard left. He's above you. So now we change to the second time. So this is a longer range missile now, which I have to use the onboard computer to launch. Oh, I've got to find you again. Hold up. Okay, we'll watch one more. <coughs> Nicely done. And he's ejected. And he's going down. Yeah, that's a kill. Nice work. Yeah, it's good fun, huh? All right, so I've uh, probably cruised most of the way home. Where am I? Let me find where I am. Oh, well, look, there I am. Just as well I uh, got back into it at that point. So I need to. Warning, autopilot. Yeah, I know. Autopilot off. I've got to head past the SAM sites on the right. And just a little bit further, and I'll be home. Joking. Pipe Custard says it's half three in the morning where he's in the world. Really? God, don't I'll tell you what, then I will blast my way back so you can catch my landing. Does he not sleep? Good lord. Where are you? Are you um, going to uh, Cob Ostend? Cobuletti, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just leaving there where I was. Um, Should be back about. I'm gonna reheat all the way back. Yeah. This has been good. Our most successful mission, I would say. Plenty shot. Some aircraft shot down. Yeah, plenty of aircraft shot down. Plenty of air, uh, ground targets taken out. No, uh, no mistakes. No crashes. I'm still on the same tank of fuel. I'm not. Do you believe that? <laughs> I'm, I, I've been flying for, what have been flying for? An hour and a half or something? Yeah, yeah, an hour and a half of flying on the same tank in the A-10. Ooh. Have you rearmed? Yeah, oh, I did. I lie, I did. Okay. You probably didn't need to rearm fuel, just missiles and stuff. Yeah, I did. I, I, yeah. Absolutely. In fact, unless you manually adjusted the slider, it wouldn't have put new, more fuel in anyway. Where's the airport? Have you seen an uh, airport around here? You've gone past it, I think. No. I can't go. Oh, no, you haven't. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, you're going... Keep going straight. You've got about another two miles. At this rate, I might catch you up. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. I see it now. Might as well use up all my flares. <laughs> so 
287 knots. I like what I like about the A10. You can literally come steaming at full throttle all the way to the uh, airfield, just chuck, <laughs> just chuck everything out, and it's yeah. and it's slow down. So what am I? I'm at four and a half thousand feet, and I'm within a mile of the uh, of the runway. I'm just gonna I'm gonna show this just for fun. I saw uh, you, you can even do this with radio control versions. Ali Machinchi was an amazing pilot in the US, and he used to be based in the UK. But when he used to fly this big A10 twin turbine version, he could do exactly this. So chop throttle and air air brake out, air brake all the way out, gear down, flaps out, hanging out everything in the breeze. And turn for home. Okay, I'm getting a fuel low warning now. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> so you might not make it back. I'm a night shift zombie that does 12-hour nights. <laughs> Said Custer the Tiger. Well, you're a better man than me. I couldn't do a 12-hour night shift. No, that's a tough job. But respect to you, my friend. See, I'm at 163, all that drag, and I'm, at, I'm in a dive, and I'm doing 165 knots. Altitude, altitude. Straightening up and flaring. I'm going to knock the uh, afterburners on the head, because they've used all my fuel getting back. Oh, I don't believe that. But I am nearly on finals. I did catch you up. It's two ways of achieving the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> so the rules are turn off at this first one. And you enter the, onto the runway, the the one over the beyond. <clears throat> Trying to follow the rules. I'll wait until you can uh, get the cam on me before I come in for a landing. Oh, all right, we got, right, Roger. I'll just park up here then. Park up here, and we'll go switch to Jason. Just hanging around at the edge of the runway. Gotcha. Yeah. Roger, yeah. Turning left. Gear coming down. Air brake. Yeah. You got air brake on top. I uh, don't need it. My speed is just right. I do have air brakes, yes. In fact, if anything, I'm a bit slow. See some, um, still got a few missiles left. You have, yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah. It can, it can carry quite a lot of air to air, this aircraft. Just not so much air to ground, it's just too heavy. Nicely done. There we go. Should we go and park up? Yeah. Is that you I see on the right yeah, hand side? Yeah, that's me, yep. Yeah. I'll catch up with you then.
<laughs> as soon as I'm on the ground, fuel critical, fuel critical. Follow me. I bet you're going to have about 1% one, 1 when you... Uh, uh, I have 330 pounds of fuel left. Which is not a lot. 310 pounds. Yeah, we're, we're on fumes. In fact, if you taxi too far, I don't think I'll be able to catch up with you. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty pounds of fuel. Oh my God, man! Yeah, this thing drinks it. Here he comes. I had a few thousand pounds of fuel <clears throat> when I was uh, back over the other aircraft, but reheat does go through it. Flaps. You're the first aircraft, yeah? I am. I'm powering down. Next to the Harrier. Yeah, I see you doing nothing. Two AV-8Bs. Yeah, you couldn't be much closer. <laughs> oh my god. You are literally... Yeah, you're just below my wingtip. That's nice. Yeah. Good, good job. Synchronised uh, completion. Ejection. Yep. One, are you ready? One, two, three. No. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Find that pretty well as well. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> that was a lot of fun. So there thanks, thanks everybody on the live stream for comments and just joining in. Thanks especially to Custard the Pipe Cat for those uh, two super chats. Really appreciate it. It means, means a lot. So, and uh, we'll do it again soon. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, Jason. Cheers, buddy. No problem. All right. Take care and talk soon. to you later. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, guys.